the Travelling Talesmen will be performing Goblins, Ghouls and Long-Legged Beasties online for Bunker 178 on Sunday the 3rd of November. To give you a little taste, here's some recording of his live show for us earlier this week. Enjoy! Eventually, he found his way via the directions to the forest, found the clearing, rode up upon the mound, called out, I thirst! Oh. <laughs> um, they, they heard a voice, they heard a voice, and the voice, like, and, and the, the servants were very scared, they were scared by this voice. <coughs> the boss introduced himself and he said, my name is Hinselman. And uh, I mean, you know, hon, and uh, I have a wife and she's called Hilda Bingles. <laughs> soothed not only my thirst, but my very soul. It was delightful to every sense and in every way. And I drank of it and felt its soothing liquor returning the strength to my very bones. Grabbed a flagon and sat down. I said, how you doing? He says, I'm fine. Great, that's marvellous. Yeah. That was your quest. Did you do any great deeds? Well, I ran into some random knights, challenged them, knocked them off the back of their horse, as you do. <laughs> but, uh, at first, it was the servants, and they, they heard the kind of, you know, knockings and bangings and odd things would move about in the kitchen. And, and the sort of thing that one might ascribe to a poltergeist. Mm. Mm. But then they began to hear a voice. A voice that sounded like um, a, a, a young woman or a, or a child. But the book was suddenly taken out of his hand. The pages were ripped out of it, and he was, I quote, squeezed and scratched until he ran away. <laughs> Somebody, hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that all about then? Uh, just, just a demonstration to show you that if I wanted, I could take away everything you have. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin disappeared and was never seen again. That's the Goblin story. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. <laughs>